With such a reliable main source, the solar industry has had a hard time growing in New Jersey. The industry has had as many dark days as sunny, and new tariffs imposed by the Trump administration promise to bring more unpredictability to an industry that, ironically, has a new friend in Trenton. I remain and we remain committed to a new energy master plan, one that we have not had for a long time in the state, that would see our state achieve 100 percent clean energy by the year 2050. But while the state's disposition is sunny, some say the federal government is throwing shade at the industry by imposing a 30 percent tariff on imports of solar panels or modules. The president says the Chinese have been dumping cheap solar panels on the U.S. market for years. On the solar panels, he left enormous amount of latitude in that decision that where we actually have a business, which is making the, making the panels, not the actual cells, the cells can be imported. We're protecting our panel makers because we do make panels here in the United States and we should continue to make panels and hire more workers in the United States. Nicholas Campanella, CEO of Sun Pacific Holding, admits the tariffs will pinch a bit since there aren't many manufacturers in the U.S. and the price per panel will definitely go up, especially for large-scale installations. But on the other hand, he thinks the tariffs will have the intended effect, that is, to spur production stateside. Last year, the U.S. bought about uh, 3.7 billion of solar panels uh, in the first 10 months. Uh, which is probably about 90 percent of it came from Asia. So by, uh, by him creating this tariff, it kind of creates a, a level playing field. So it's not necessarily trying to hurt the industry or hurt the market, but I think it's creating a, a level playing field with foreign import uh, versus what we're manufacturing here in the U.S. Lyle Rawlings of the Northeast Solar Energy Industry Association says the tariffs are a feel-good measure that claims to advocate for domestic solar manufacturing jobs, there are about 2,000 in the country right now, but will actually end up having the reverse effect. Most of the jobs are in installation and sales and design and things of that sort. So uh, even if we were to gain two or 3,000 jobs in the module manufacturing, we'll not only lose the other manufacturing jobs, but we'll lose the, the bulk of the jobs of which there are an estimated 260,000 around the country. So we're estimating that 25 or 30,000 jobs net will be lost because of this tariff. Ultimately, the market will dictate the winners and losers, but tariffs aside, the industry is happy to be back in the conversation in the Garden State, and the hope is that the new governor will spread sunshine around the entire renewable energy industry. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.